Hi, uh, we're going to get started by creating a very simple uh, web page and we're going to use some uh, very very basic tags. I'm going to say very basic, these are the fundamental tags that are appear on uh, every single web page. Okay, so uh, let's just jump straight into it. So if we go to Moodle, uh, it's not Moodle, okay, uh, if we go up at the top, uh, you can see I've got my I've got resources here with kind of subheadings. So I'm looking for web page templates. Okay, and we will start off this evening just using the basic uh, template. Okay, so click on that link, and what you should notice here is that this is just a text file. Okay, at the moment, and because it's a text file, I can see the code straight away. So uh, I am going to just magnify that. Okay, so control plus makes the text bigger. Control plus or control and the mouse, uh, the, the mouse, um, the mouse wheel will do the same thing. Okay, so I am going to use this code. And before I do that, uh, let's just copy it. Okay, I can either use the mouse, drag down like that, uh, or I can just click in, in the browser window and do control A, selects everything and control C like that, okay? Uh, using the keyboard shortcuts is quicker. And also control A means everything. Uh, it can be quite easy if you're copying with a mouse. Uh, you can see I've missed the first bracket on the top left, okay? So we don't want that to happen. So what I do then is I go to my uh, notepad++ that I have installed, okay? And I'm just gonna paste that in there, okay? Now, if you notice here, uh, all my text is just the same uniform kind of, uh, uh, sort of skinny black font here. There's nothing in bold, there's nothing in different colors and all that, okay? And the reason is that uh, I haven't given this document, uh, I haven't saved it as a web page, okay? So I need to save it as a .html. So let me go to File, Save As. And one more thing here, notice uh, this little disk symbol, floppy disk symbol is, is red. That means it hasn't been saved. This little star asterisk me is, is there, which means I haven't saved the file. And this one here is in blue, okay? Or if I've got more than one file opened, uh, save all. So you can see there's a little explanation coming up when you hover over the little symbol or icon. So let's save this, okay? And let's just go somewhere sensible. What I would encourage you right from the start is to make a folder for the, for each module. And then inside there, just have a folder for each week. So you can see straight away, uh, this is this week. Okay, 2209.19, so 19th of September. Okay, uh, so I am going to call this um, first. Okay, but there are two things involved in naming a file. Okay, there is the actual name of the file, but there's also the type of file. Okay, what type of file is it going to be? And this this is where Notepad++ is quite useful. Um, there's very little bloat in this. Okay, uh, when you're downloading uh, VS um, Visual Studio, uh, you probably it's probably seven or eight hundred uh, megabytes. Okay, this is this is much smaller uh, Notepad++. So. Uh, you can actually create text files. We can also create, um, if you notice, apart from the text file, um, these are all in alphabetical order, okay, based on the file extension, okay, the three or four letters after the dot, ASP, BB, uh, C, uh, CSS, we'll be using those uh, over the next few weeks, uh, dot fourth, uh, so I'm looking for dot H, dot uh, html and i'll be using uh, javascript as well later on dot js okay so we want to pick javascript okay so i'm creating something called first dot uh, html okay now once i have actually picked once i have picked the format of my file extension uh you can see i'm getting a lot of uh information here colored information here okay before i get into that let's just view this file at the moment so view current file in Chrome. Uh, there's nothing in there, okay? Or so it seems. If I right click here and go down to view page source, uh, you can see the same code uh, as we already have in here. Okay, so this is my first page. Okay, very basic. So what are we gonna do with it? 
Well, before we get cracking and get our get our feet wet, so to speak, uh, with code, uh, we need to understand what all of these tags are. Okay. First of all, HTML itself. Uh, L is language. Okay. Uh, what sort of language is HTML? It's a language for marking text. Uh, when this programming language was developed uh, in the probably early to mid 80s, uh, the idea of sending videos or images uh, over the internet was basically unheard of. Okay, there was no concept that, w that it would be possible to do that because file sizes are so big with videos uh, and, and images as well. Okay, compared to text files. Okay, so the T stands for text. Okay, so the idea is HTML is a language to mark the text. Okay, why do we want to mark, mark the text? Because we want to say that uh, some text should appear uh, in the tag up here. Okay, or in the tab up there, sorry, uh, to, to describe uh, what the web page is about. Okay, so we can put something in here. Okay. Something like that. Okay, and if we go back to the browser, uh, you can see this has changed here. First web page. Okay, now, okay, so a web page should have a title. Um, you also want to tell the browser, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with the idea of different versions of software, but there are different versions of programming languages as well. Okay, at the moment we're on HTML5, uh, HTML4, there was XHTML and so on, HTML 4.01. Those those three were the big ones before HTML 5. Okay, uh, so you have to tell the browser what type of document it is. Okay, now the good news is, from your point of view, is that this line here, doc type, document type, uh, when you just say HTML, that means HTML 5, but HTML 6 will also just use the word HTML. Okay, so that's very easy uh, to type. Uh, if you notice, there's an exclamation mark there. Uh, that makes this text go black. If I put one in here, you can see that's got a HTML lang n has gone black as well. Okay, so uh, that's basically uh, one of the two kinds of comments. Uh, okay, so that's not really a tag. Okay, so we mark our content with these things called tags. Okay, so notice they have angled brackets there. Okay. Uh, Okay, and this tag here is, if you like, it's double-ended. Okay, we've got a starting HTML tag and we've got a closing HTML tag and we do that by putting a forward slash in front of it. Okay, and notice when I click on the first half of the head tag, uh, the second half closes and there's a little red dotted line joining them. Okay, so we need we need a HTML tag right at the beginning, okay? So we've got our doc type, we've got our HTML tag, and then within this, we basically got two tags. Okay, now I haven't gone and made our tags disappear. Okay, I've just hit the plus symbol uh, and it becomes a minus, you can see, toggle them back and forth. So we can see what's inside a tag uh, or we can, uh, or we cannot. Normally we just see what's inside it. Okay, now we have two tags immediately inside the HTML tag. Notice that everything, every tag, is either inside the head or the body. Okay, and they're inside the HTML tag. And the head tag is before the body. Okay, I think of the head tag as kind of doing a lot of the donkey work, a lot of the tidying up work. Okay, um, if I want to tell the browser what type of language character set I'm using, okay, I use the meta tag and car set is a property. Okay, and then which particular character set? UTF-8, which is, if you like, for I suppose we call them Western European uh, languages like uh, English uh, or Irish, French, uh, and so on. Okay, Chinese uh, language uh, languages, Hindi would use different uh, character sets. Okay, so typically we're going to need a meta tag. We're going to need a title tag, and this is one of those double-ended tags. Uh, so we need to close it. Notice meta, uh, it's what's called self-closing. Okay, we don't have. Okay, we don't have that. 
Okay, we don't need that. Uh, most tags have a double, uh, an open and close, distinct open and close. Uh, some tags are self-closed, like meta, like image tag, uh, and so on. Okay, if we want to put some style in, uh, we need a style tag. And then we need to say, what is the relationship between this tag and the rest of the page? REL relationship. It's a style sheet. Okay, this is just the default that we, we have to have. Okay, um, body tag then. The body tag takes care of everything that's inside our browser window. Okay, at the moment, there's nothing in here. Okay, a script allows us to write some uh, JavaScript code. Uh, more of that later in the semester. Okay, so let's go back to Moodle. What have we got to do? Uh, well, let's come down here and see what I have asked you to do. Okay, today's work. Uh, so let's click on this. What do you want to do? Uh, become familiar with the basic HTML tags that are to be found on all web pages. Uh, create your first web page. Uh, add the essential text tags. Okay, so let's let's add some of them now. Okay, so headings, paragraph, bullet points. Okay, so let's put in a heading, and there are six headings. Okay, H1 uh, down to H6. Oh, sorry. Okay, and you can see they're coming up there with the predictive text if you look at the videos uh, in Moodle. Uh, so, okay, and in time honored programming uh, ways, uh, we write hello world somewhere like that. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is I am just going to shrink this over here and I would encourage you to get in the habit of having your browser window opened. Okay, let's get rid of that because it is the source. And here is the web page itself. Okay, so all I do now is just click on the browser window and press F5 and I can see the, the, the text in there. Okay, so uh, you can go to W3 Schools and you can do a search for how does the P for paragraph tag work? How does the OL work? And so on, okay? Um, you can actually... Sorry, if I just go back and look at the instructions. Uh, here we go. Okay, if you actually right-click on that and view page source, uh, you can see I'm using an order list, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. UL will give us unordered, and I've got a paragraph there and so on. Okay, so don't be afraid to experiment. Have a look at uh, our various uh, web pages. Okay, now, what about if I want to uh, add an image? Okay, let's say an image for Dundalk. Okay, so I'm just going to type Dundalk in there, and I'm going to click on images here. Okay, uh, nothing's happened for some reason. Okay, here's so here's an image here. Okay, so I want to display this on the web page. So I'm just going to click here. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to right click on the image and I am going to. Um, open image a new tab okay if we do that that will just show us the image on its own uh, so here is the link okay so i copy that uh, i go back to my code and i am just going to add an image tag okay img src equals and then uh, quotation marks and I'm just going to put that in there. Okay, so let's come back and have a look at my web page, my first web page. There's the image there. Okay. Okay, YouTube video. You just go to YouTube video you want. You click on share. You go to embed. And you copy. And you come back and you paste like that. You save. 